<sighs> Day 37. Today, I went to a Chinese buffet. We'll talk about it right after this. Should I let you in before I do my video? Huh? Should I? Okay. So, work was light today, and my oldest daughter, who doesn't live with us, she wanted to go hang out. We usually get lunch somewhere. And I usually pick the Chinese buffets because, you know, admittedly, I like the food, and but also because it's cheaper. You, know, you go to some sit down Denny's style type restaurant, you're like 30 bucks. And it seems like the portions are in half, you know. So, you know, we always go get Chinese buffet and I thought, well, this would be a good test. This will be a good test of willpower. This will be a good test of sensitivities and all that stuff. Now, yesterday I talked about having a plan and I had already planned ahead what I was going to do. Now, all these Chinese restaurants around here have hibachi, where you basically you put a bunch of raw meat on your plate, or raw beet and veggies, and you give it to some dude, and he puts it on this big circular, you know, flat top, and they, they grill it. Now, this particular place likes to parboil all the food. And I guess that's the make sure that the chicken is cooked all the way through, you know, so it's not contaminating or whatever. And, you know, and that's a good, that's a good strategy, I guess. And that's what I did. So I got the chicken that's on a stick, a couple of wings. They had some baked salmon, which that was really good. And then they had, um, and then I got pork, no, I got chicken, beef, and shrimp no veggies um i did get garlic sauce so who knows what oils are in that and that was what i had at the chinese place i did not partake i did not cheat i did not like oh just one egg roll which you know i've been doing lately before that so before this journey um so i'm holding on to my my convictions i guess and i didn't make a big deal of it um, halfway through the meal, I told my daughter, I was, yeah, I'm on this, you know, 40 day carnivore challenge. And she's like, I hope I'm not ruining this. I'm like, no, look what I'm eating. And she's like, oh, okay. So, but the buffet culture is, it's a contributor to our sickness. It's a contributor to how we eat, it's a contributor to how we approach restaurant food and and i've been a part of that culture you know it's it's it's, it's usually the cheapest way to go and you know in the in the additives that they put in these foods you know i used to work for restaurants so i know a little bit about the behind the scenes stuff and this you know the oils and the starches they're, they're all meant to taste good and so you're you're eating three or four or five plates at least i did uh, maybe not five but you know and your stomach's only this big it's only as big as your fist and yet a couple hours later you're probably hungry again um when i ate nothing but meat on this buffet with no sauces or anything well very little sauces i did have the garlic sauce but i used to drown things in soy sauce and you know, and ugh, it was just now it, it just, you just, I just wouldn't feel good for a while. And I still, you know, so today I feel a little bit okay. Now, every now and then we, we've been known to go to uh, 
the golden corral and there I get strictly steak you know before my challenge I get strictly steak broccoli cauliflower Brussels sprouts and mushrooms that's all I get I wouldn't get anything else and I and I didn't feel too bad afterwards um, I imagine the seed oils will have a little bit of effect on me I imagine my skin will break out a little bit and um, there's a bug on the phone and um, you know and we'll see what I feel like tomorrow right now I'm, I'm just thirsty and kind of you know, but um, we kind of like bleh, today anyways mentally and physically a little bit so it's it's you know, and that's the thing. I don't want you people to think that once you go carnivore that all your problems go away instantly. No, it, it takes a while. It takes a while for the body to take it out. And you're going to have bad days. You're going to have days that you're still depressed. You're going to have days that you don't feel that 100%. And, you know, you just got to soldier through them. And, you know, you adjust your intake to what your body needs. Um, but the buffet culture is definitely a, a contributor to... Our health problems. Remember the Flying J's, you truck drivers, you old school truck drivers? Remember the Old Country Buffet or whatever it was called? Or, you know, what, what was the restaurant that was in Flying J's before Pilot bought them out? You know, I we used to be a part of those buffets. You know, truck drivers love those buffets. And and um, you had the, you know, Dottie's there, exit 208 on I-44 in Missouri. You know, you had a buffet there too, and, and you know, it's just easy because your food's instant. You can kind of choose what you want, and, you know, you don't have to cook. And then next thing you know, you're getting in the bunk, and you're tired, and you're bloated, and ugh, just You didn't realize you were making yourself sick. None of us did. So, but anyways, sometimes it's hard to avoid going out to eat so you minimize as much as you can and that's what I did today um, which is good news because my wife wants to go out to lunch soon and that's probably what we'll do either that or if I go Mexican I'll have a strategy for that too um, if we go to a sit-down you know American diner that's easy steak and eggs bacon sausage whatever um, but you know a buffet of predominantly fried foods you've got maybe four choices and Mexican food you know you got to stay out of the chips that they give you and stay away from the flour and corn tortillas so day 37 I did not weigh myself this morning I didn't have a chance to and uh, so We'll probably weigh a little bit more tomorrow because I always gain a couple of pounds after I do a Chinese buffet regardless of what I've eaten. So it'll be interesting to see what the results are. So day 37 is in the books. I appreciate everybody who's been watching. Thank you. Strength for today over tomorrow. Peace.